All right, so we got another optimization problem. I have several of them. Uh, just check out my channel. Uh, you can find them in the derivative playlist. All right, so here it says find the dimensions of a rectangle with area 1,000 square meters whose perimeter is as small as possible. All right, so we want to minimize the perimeter. Okay, and we know the area is a thousand square meters. So let's write down all the information that we know and let's write down what we want to find. All right, so first I'm going to go ahead and just sketch a quick picture. All right, and we'll just call this X, we'll call this Y. It doesn't matter which one you call which. And we know that the area is a thousand square meters. So that tells us that a thousand, which is the area, now let me do this in a different color. We know the area, which is a thousand, is equal to x times y. That's the that's the formula for the area of a rectangle. Now, so that's that's some information they've given us. And now let's write what we want to minimize. We want to minimize the perimeter of the rectangle. Well, what's the perimeter of the rectangle? Well, the perimeter is 2 times x plus 2 times y. Okay, remember, this is x also, and this is y. So the perimeter is x plus x, which is 2x, plus y plus y, which is 2y. All right. So we want to minimize this. So we need to take the derivative. Well, before we do that, let's get this all in terms of one variable. So let's get it all in terms of x. Well, we know a thousand is equal to x times y. So that tells us that y is equal to a thousand over x. So we'll plug this in for y. So I get p is equal to 2x plus 2 times 1,000 over x. And so the perimeter is 2x plus 2,000 over x. All right, now we need to take the derivative. Well, the derivative is 2, derivative of 2x is 2, minus 2,000 over x squared. Okay, that's the derivative of this. And just to show you real quick, if you have 2,000 over x, well, how would you take the derivative? Well, we would move this up to the numerator, so that would be 2,000 times x to the negative 1, and then we use the power rule, the negative 1 comes down, that's negative 2,000 x, subtract 1, that's negative 2, and then we move this back down to the denominator, so that's negative 2,000 over x squared. And that's, there's your derivative, okay? All right, so now we need to set this equal to zero. So I have two minus 2,000 over x squared equals zero. So two is equal to 2,000 over x squared. Right. So that's going to give me 2x squared equals 2,000. So x squared is equal to 1,000. And so I'm going to get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1,000. All right. Well, we know it's not going to be the negative because the length of the side of a rectangle is not going to be negative. So that tells us that x is going to equal the square root of 1,000. So there's your, there's your x value. See, they want to know the dimension. So x is the square root of 1,000, and that is meters. Now we need to know what y is. Okay. Well, y is equal to well, what's y equal to? y is equal to this right here, 1,000 over x. So y 
is equal to a thousand over the square root of a thousand and then if we rationalize the denominator we're going to get y is equal to a thousand square root of a thousand over whoop, that should be a square root there too so a square root of a thousand times square root of a thousand is a thousand the thousands cancel and so I'm left with at y equals the square root of a thousand and that is meters and so it's actually what a square and so there's x and y square root of a thousand all right so I hope this helped uh, give me a like share and subscribe and check out my other videos and thanks for watching